This is going to be my hardest rebuild yet, and it's not even because of the program. In fact, on paper, Vanderbilt is a really solid team. A two and a half star program with an 81 overall, they would be a competitor in most conferences. But that's the problem, the S. E C. Vanderbilt is by far the worst program in the SEC. You've got Texas A&M, Texas, Tennessee, Mizzou, Oklahoma, Ole Miss, LSU, Georgia, Alabama, and that's just your ranked opponents. You've still got to get through Arkansas, Kentucky, Auburn, Florida, Mississippi State, and South Carolina. In fact, for the last 90 years that Vanderbilt has been a program, they have 351 wins and 589 losses in the SEC putting them firmly as the worst program in the Southeastern Conference. Now, don't get me wrong, the Old Dominion rebuild was super difficult. They're a one-star program. But Vanderbilt is going to have the gauntlet schedule every single season until we get this program strong enough to actually take on these top dogs. It might be five, six years until we see a bowl game. And while we're getting smacked around by 40, we've got to convince top prospects to come to Vanderbilt. It's not going to be easy, but I'm excited to start. Let's hop in. I'm going to use Vanderbilt's current coach. Coach. If I'm being totally honest with you, everybody on Rebuilds just chooses Recruiter because it's the most OP skill tree, and that's no fun. I will have a bit of an advantage, though, since he's already level 27 and a master motivator. We'll have points and skill trees already. And the records speak for themselves. Vanderbilt has not had a winning season since 2013 when they went to the Birmingham Bowl. 3-9, and 4-8, and eight, a couple close calls, and last season was 2-10. and 10. Enough yapping, boys. Let's begin this rebuild. The Vanderbilt Commodores. Anchor down. A Commodore is the ranking officer commanding a body of merchant ships. Nice. It's always fun to see a roster at the start of a rebuild, and our senior strong safety, CJ Taylor, is the best player. A run support strong safety at 88 overall. We've got a junior middle linebacker as our next best, and yikes, he's an 81. That's a steep drop off from our best player. Lots of seniors will be leaving this season. Zaylin Wood, Corday Sidnor, and Miles Capers. Two sophomores. Junior Cheryl, already a star on this team, so we've got three good years out of him. And Randon Fontanet. Also, I shouldn't say that. I've had people leave in the transfer report. Makes me sad. Sophomore halfback, we should have him for a while. Got a freshman free safety, 78 overall, Dante Carter. When I see really good young guys like this, I love to check their dev trait. He's got star, which is faster than impact, and impact is already better than base. I believe there's only one tier higher than this, which is elite. But a star free safety at 79 overall, that's beautiful. The rest of this roster is nothing crazy other than a sophomore wide receiver, Micah Bell with 97 speed. And look at this. Nate Johnson is actually the fastest quarterback in this entire game. And not only that, but Nate Johnson is a junior. So we're going to get two seasons with the fastest Grambler QB in game. He's got impact dev traits, so he develops at a faster rate than normal. He also has platinum tier magician, silver mobile resistance, and bronze option kick. So looking at the depth chart, two really good sophomore wide receivers. Let's make sure that Micah Bell is our slot wide receiver, so he's consistently getting getting as many reps as he can, and the game's one step ahead of me. He already is. Want to make sure that that young free safety is a starter. He is. Dante Carter will be very good here in four years. Corners are mediocre. A junior and a sophomore are one and two, which is good. And honestly, Alan McPherson, the junior, is comparable with our senior. No, I'll start the senior. I can't do that to him. Kicker is no bueno. Punter is no bueno. Always got to remember that, dude. No, I take that back. 87 kick power and 81 accuracy is not that bad. It's also a sophomore. I was quick to judge. He's not bad. Next up is setting the recruiting board. The good news is there's a lot of guys with a ton of interest in Vanderbilt. They're mainly two and three stars though. Sorting by rank though, we have a decent shot at a few four stars. Isaac Duval, D tackle, right outside linebacker, Lamont Jamerson. All right, we've got a solid board to start with. And just like that, we've got a left tackle verbal commit. That was easy. Malik French, not a lot of speed, but a lot of acceleration. He could be a good pass coverage outside linebacker for sure. He has a busted gem though. So as a three star, he's technically a two star, but I still like his intangibles. 84 speed, 89 acceleration. I'll keep him on our radar. Isaac Duvall is at the top of my list right now. Four star D tackle. A lot of competition with Tennessee and Georgia, but I got to stay on top of him. Lamont Jamerson. Now my number one target. He's got gold tier quick jump already out of high school. He's a power rusher outside linebacker with 86 speed and 89 acceleration, and he's a gem. Only thing is Tennessee's in front of us, but not by too much. Let's give him the scholarship and keep our eyes on him. A bust 
busted gem D tackle, Julian Sermons. Still really good stats though. 75 speed, 87 strength for D tackle. He's pretty damn fast. Keep your eyes on him. Julian Ahmed, a 5'8 wide receiver with 98 speed. Dude is dangerously close going to Georgia already though. Ooh. <laughs> Talk about a user middle linebacker, Andrew Spruce, a gem, so technically a four star, 87 speed and excel for his number one school right now. I'd love to pick up all the gems if we can. Another gem, Connor Sauerbrunn, D tackle. He likes Vandy. Pinkney's busted. Amani Adai. This is one of the fastest linebackers I've ever seen. 90 speed, 90 excel. Also a gem and also likes Vandy. I am actually recruiting a punter, which is not something I would normally do, but I sim a lot of games and they punt a lot in sim. So can't rule it out. And another gem. We are just the gem finders right now. Ento strong safety. I'll offer him a scholarship. Here's a star right end. He's a two star and he's Juco. Juco kind of scares me because they're so much older, but still a gem and he verbally commits. It's that easy, baby. Oh, we got two pickups already and one's a gem. All right, our board is set nicely right now. If we can get a few of those four stars and the gem three stars, we'll be in business. Now here's the scary thing for year one and that's our schedule. First three games, easy, at least comparatively. Cause then we take on Mizzou, Alabama, Texas, Auburn, South Carolina, and we end the season with LSU Tennessee. Stop it. This is kind of what I mean. I mean, we are a significant underdog in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. And then we still got to beat the other team. Well, first things first, a four-star gem. That's a five-star right outside linebacker, Lamont Jamerson. We are sending the house. Not only that, but this coach does have extra hours for linebackers. So I'm going to DM him as well and search his social media, doing everything we can to keep this guy as our number one. Send to the house at Sermons as well. Same thing here with Sauerbrunn. Same thing with Spruce. We're going to make the defense a lot better if we can get these guys. And one of the fastest linebackers I've ever seen. I would love to get Amani Adai on this team. Spending a lot of hours on these guys, but hopefully it pays off. This is a bye week, so it's really just up to us to see how that recruiting did. Not gonna lie, I usually wouldn't play our first game, but I want to try out the Scrambler QB. I mean, even Virginia Tech has an overall advantage on this, so this might be a difficult game. We'll rock the black and gold, and we'll hop into this game. The Commodores! All right, let's play the moment. Still got to keep it simmed to some degree. Play a little defense here. Patterson, there's Taylor. A little third down here. Nice pass. Big hit. Damn. When I come from playing Ultimate Team back to Dynasty, I forget how fast everyone is. Because in Ultimate Team, the best speed right now is like 86. And all these dudes got 90s, but that's a hell of a tackle. Let's go. See if we can get a stop here. I'm on Fontanet. That's a handoff to the right side. I got bodies all over it. Third and six. One more stop here, boys. I'm on Taylor in a light green. It's got to be a pass. It is. Quarterback's going to step. Oh, my God, the air truck. Now, will this be as simple as just snapping the ball and scrambling? Oh, it won't be because that's a hot blitz. But we make the right read, get it out to Gillespie. We got a first down. Got to learn a little bit more about uh, Vanderbilt's offense, though. Third and six. Do they blitz again? They do blitz again. It's the exact same read, but I don't get all the way there. It's fourth and one. Coach is going to go for it, and I respect it. They send one more blitz up the middle. I'll dump this out. If not... Oh my God, you're not getting flagged down. 95 speed. I'm still getting flagged down. Jesus. Third and 11, big down here. And we got bodies. That's a turnover. Nice work defense. Somehow they're in the red zone. Going with the DB blitz here. Second and four. Got a man up zero. Quick pass outside. He breaks a tackle. This is gonna be tough. Maybe a QB option. I'm gonna send two blitzers though. Oh, it was a good blitz, but he broke the tackle. Virginia Tech's got us 14 to zero right now. Try and get something up, right? Come on, Nate Johnson. I'm gonna step up with that 95 speed and Nate Johnson's gonna get a whole lot out of this. He doesn't fumble. Blitz over the middle. No, they drop back. Oh my God, who's this Virginia Tech edge rusher? Dude's a monster. Antoine Powell Ryland killing us right now. Second and 17. All right. They leave the middle open for Alexander to take about eight. Let's keep going quick. Go classic verticals here. Oh my God, that guy is a freak. I'm so over him. We're going empty. Despite the really strong blitzes, we're going empty. Oh my God, these guys are, what is this O-line doing? Oh my God, I can't even snap and throw. We're in range on first and 10 though. I'm really hoping this is man coverage. I think Stowers could get open. It's not man coverage. Holy shit, holy shit. I've never seen pass rush like this. This is gonna be a tough rebuild. Virginia Tech is killing us up front right now. And that may be an open corner out. No, good defense. It was not open. This is a nightmare. Rockin' all goes. Oh, can we somehow slow that freak show down? I gotta throw this. 
I didn't have to throw that. We could have settled for the field goal. <laughs> this is insane. These guys are fucking animals. Defense holds. We're back on O on third and five. Unable to get in the end zone at any point so far today. A quickly collapsing line. Let's just get the ball out. Let's get the ball out quick every time if we can. Stowers at four and two. I think we got to go for this, coach. Coach agrees. Maybe we can rock a little RPO handoff here. Gonna hand this one off. And there's block shit. This is crazy. Dude, if this is how we look against Virginia Tech, I mean, what about Bama? What about Georgia? What about Texas? I don't really have time to let routes develop. It's fourth and seven, and we got to go for it. I like that we have Nate Johnson. Other than that, we are in piss on this program. I'm going to... We just missed a full accuracy throw for the first down. We're about to get shut out by the Hokies in game one. This is not going to look good for our recruits. Second and eight, and there comes the star. Good Lord. I'm going to block Gillespie on that side. Hopefully he can pick him up and just give us a little bit of time to at least consider a different throw. Man, that's bagged. That's probably an INT. Lucky to get away with one. We're going for it on fourth and 14. I can't even get the pass off. This is so crazy. Is our line that bad? I don't remember our line being this bad. Maybe that guy's just a freak show. First and 10. And okay. Wait a minute. Actually, a little bit of time here in a downfield block. I tell you what, though, if my offense is just Nate Johnson scrambling, we're not going to win any games. Going to scramble out right, take this upfield, and once we. This might be the only offensive play that works. Scramble. We got a lot of work to do, boys. A little play action that's honestly so risky, and you're kind of bagged, aren't you? Holy shit, he picked that off. This is a blowout. It's 31 to zero. I thought this was gonna be a hard rebuild, but it's going to be way harder than I thought if that's our Virginia Tech game. Oh my. We gotta scout some more offensive linemen. That's crazy. That's not even a star D tackle. Dude just got torched. This could be a long one. All right, Lamont Jamerson, the five-star technically power rusher, outside linebacker. We're ready to schedule a visit. And I mean, come on. You think I'm scheduling a visit home at Bama? How about Ball State? We'll show him a trophy tour. Same deal for Sermons. And everyone else, we're in really good standing, so we're just gonna wait on these. We beat FCS Southeast. We can hard sell Amani Adai for campus personality. A, B plus, A plus. A really Really good hard sell and I'll have enough hours to still contact friends and family. Schedule a visit at Ball State for Spruce. A little family visit. And Sour Braun in the same boat. Another family visit. We got one commit already. It's Andrew Spruce, the 87 speed, 87 excel middle linebacker. Karen Ento also commits. Those are huge. Good starts, boys. Sour Bren looks really good. Spruce commits. I'm really excited about him. That'll be an awesome user. Adai looks really good. Connor Sour Bren, this was a gem D tackle, so technically a four-star. Big pickup. Amani Adai! Yes! The 90 speed left outside linebacker. Dude, we're one in three right now. We haven't even gotten to the gauntlet yet. The last guy that we really want is Jamerson. This is a technical five-star. We got a visit for week eight. I've Oh, no, I need to hard sell him. Ooh, this is tough, though, because A+, plus, A+, plus, D+. Plus. I don't even know if the hard sell's the move right now. But South Carolina's getting kind of close. I'm going to try this, see what happens. We lost Sermons. All right, I've set the house on a three-star and two two-stars on the offensive line. We need him. I'm scared about Jamerson now, though. Now we take on Bama. That is not going to be fun. But our visits at Ball State are soon. Damn it. Oh, he goes to South Carolina. They got their visit in before me. Damn it. This dude was a technical five-star. We'll get DeVoe as a backup. Lost to Bama. No shocker. There's still a good four-star left. Isaac Duvall would love to pick this kid up. And we're far in the lead. Got him already. We didn't even need the visit. Isaac Duvall. Okay, we got a lot of good gem three stars. We got the 90 speed linebacker and a four star D tackle, Isaac Duvall. It's been a solid recruiting season despite us losing like every game. Oh my God. Wait, we got to win. Okay, we're two and four against Ball State. I do have a few visits at this Ball State game, so winning here would be nice. Kind of expected to commit there. Oh, we did win. Three and four. Nice. We still got Texas, LSU, Tennessee, but three and four, a little comeback here. We should check in on Coach Adam Griffin. I'm excited to see what he does have. Looks like he's got points in a lot of different trees. This may have been actually a little bit even more overpowered as a start. Some pieces here for Master Motivator on linebackers and D-line. He's got a few pieces in Architect for in-game goals. A few pieces in Tactician for D-line linebackers and secondary. So he's looking like a very defensive head coach. And Recruiter, we 
did see this. D-line linebacker secondary. Okay. All right. At the end of year one, we go five and seven. Could have been worse. No bowl games, no conference championships. We lost to Tennessee. We beat LSU. Oh my God. Nice. And we beat South Carolina. Okay. That's actually a legitimate win. As for the rest of the gauntlet, we got smacked around by Auburn, smacked around by Texas. We shut out Ball State and beat Kentucky. Okay. It could have been worse. So here's the full sweep of Vanderbilt commits. Cordova, Hodgins, Duvall, Sauerbrunn, Spruce, Adai, Ento, and McMillan. We didn't get all the guys we were looking for, but we got a lot of gems. So Ento and Adai, technical four stars. Spruce, technical four star. Sauerbrunn, technical four star. Duvall, a true four star. And now we're just looking at the transfer portal to kind of band-aid some of the positions that could use one, but nobody crazy in here. And after year one, our overall takes a massive hit. There wasn't really much we could do about this. A lot of our program just graduated. Some notable freshmen though, I'm redshirting Ento. He's a 70 overall, he's got star dev. This guy's gonna be really, really good his senior year. Then Amani Adai, that's the 90 speed. He's a 71 overall with impact, so I was hoping for a star but it's all right. Now Duval unfortunately is normal, but he is such a high overall for a freshman, 76 overall. And honestly, I don't blame him. Nate Johnson left in the transfer portal. It doesn't really matter. I don't think we are gonna win anything crazy right now. The question is who do we start? We do have Jeremy St. Alaire. I mean, our starter's a senior 78 overall and Alaire's a freshman 75. I'm gonna start Alaire. So here's our year two recruiting board. I do need to get a quarterback. I gotta get somebody really solid. Here's a Russell Sharp, who potentially could be really fast. 6'4", improviser. Here's Isaiah Soto, another three-star who's already really interested in Vandy. And then here's an athlete scrambler quarterback. It looks like, ah, he's not that fast, but he's definitely fast. 90 speed, 90 acceleration. Gotta keep him on our board as well. I, I can tell you right now, year two might be our toughest season. Our overall went down. We lost Nate Johnson. Start of our schedule's not too bad. Virginia Tech, Michigan State, Alabama, LSU, Auburn, Missouri, Auburn, Kentucky, Texas, Tennessee. It's gonna be a really frustrating year, I think. Year two went as expected. Clemson wide receiver Troy Stolato wins the Heisman, and the Commodores are back to that horrifying record of two and 10. Holy shit. Well, that's a first for me. We were so shit at Vanderbilt that we got fired. I just simmed a week and all of a sudden my screen turned red and now I'm coaching the Houston Cougars? Why is anyone even offering me a job? I suck. Well, this is definitely a first for me and it's probably gonna set us back, but I now have to create a new character and go back to Vanderbilt. <laughs> And they're even worse. They're a 76 overall now. I don't know if anybody knows, but we're going in the wrong direction right now. I am now Chad Butters. All right, we're back with Vanderbilt and we've uh, turned black. Not bad. I have the past now. <laughs> But this is all I wanted to show you from season two. We sucked. There was nothing notable to mention other than the players that we signed. We got a decent hodgepodge of two and three stars. It was not an easy season. We won two games. A lot of players didn't want to sign with us. We weren't winning our visits, uh, but at least we got a few. Some three-star middle linebackers and two three-star wide receivers is what I was most excited about. Both of them in the upper echelon speed tier. So we'll see what that exactly pans out to be. But Gallo's six foot three, Pipkin also also six foot three. So two deep ball wide receivers worked on the defense and wish me luck is basically all I'm saying. Putting some points in tactician on Chad Butters. I think we're gonna need the game boosts just because we're already at such a disadvantage. We got a QB commit already. That was super quick. I did not expect him to commit that fast. The year three lineups back up to a 79 overall. So we're trending in the right direction. Fontenet and Longwell are seniors now. And look at Amani Adai. That is so crazy. As a sophomore, he's like our fifth best player. Bullware as a sophomore, also an 83 overall. And look at Jeremy St. Hilaire as a sophomore, is killing it. The starting position for St. Hilaire was definitely the right call. Okay, we're actually putting something together here. Sophomore tight ends looking super good, Bryson Coleman. And Duval is now technically a freshman since we redshirted him. He's a 74 overall. One thing that would be huge is getting this program from two and a half stars to three. I think it'll be a lot easier to get four stars that way. So see what we can do here. Honestly, this is one of the easier schedules we've had in a while. Only one ranked opponent in our first eight games. It is number one, Georgia. And obviously there's still Old Miss, Arkansas, and Florida, but this, this is a decent, <laughs> the end of the schedule is disgusting, but 
It's a decent opportunity to win some games. Hey, our best season yet. Coach Chad Butters goes six and six in his first season. Let me recap year three. We nailed way more three stars than we ever have. This is probably our best class. Instead of trying to dominate on four stars, I tried to pick up a lot of three stars this year just to rebuild this core. I actually think when Adai and our quarterback, St. Alaire, our seniors, we we have a decent shot. Not a great shot, but it'll be the best this team has looked. And I wanted to put some three stars in front of that. I'm also really excited for this halfback, Ezekiel Madden, who's in top speed tier, 89 Excel. I have found it very difficult to draft really fast running backs. You see really fast wide receivers and quarterbacks, but not running backs. Overall six and six, I can't complain. Apologies if it feels like I'm going fast. Some seasons are just a lot bigger deal than others. If I showed you everything, from however many seasons this takes, we'd be here a long time. It is super exciting to see the development of Amani Adai, the 84 overall now, fastest linebacker I've ever drafted at 90 speed, 90 Excel. Also very excited for St. Alaire. He's about to be going into his junior year and he's now an 83 overall. So looking to maybe have almost an 88, 89 overall quarterback his senior year. We definitely made the right call starting him. Also huge news, Anthony Gallo, the wide receiver three star. He's impact dev trait. He's 96 speed, six foot three. That was a really, really good pickup. JD Pipkin, the other guy, is exact same deal, 96 speed. And D Sheed, who we got as well. So we got, I mean, they're low overalls and they're freshmen, but we redshirt these guys. And come senior year, we got a lot of good wide receivers. Rest in peace, Nate Johnson. I don't know where Nate Johnson went, but I hope he had a good time there. Well, the good news, our team is now an 81 overall. So the initial drafting that we did is really starting to pay off. The bad news, we went six and six last season and we dropped to a two-star program. I really don't know why, because we were two and a half and six and six was the best record we'd had up to this point, but that's bad. It's gonna make recruiting significantly more difficult. But our overall is good, so gotta get in a winning season or just an improved season so that we can get back to two and a half stars because that's a setback for sure. We've got Stanford, Georgia, Texas A&M, Oklahoma, Tennessee. Georgia and Oklahoma are just straight up losses, right? Texas A&M is most likely a loss. Stanford most likely a loss. Let's see if we can squeeze out of this season. Halfway through year four, we're rocking a four and four record, about to take on Ole Miss at home. And I want to step in and play this game. I'm scared of us continuing to slip. And honestly, I'm, I'm actually really proud of the roster. We're an 82 overall right now with an 84 offense. Our best players are Tristan Brown, Larry Thompson, Joseph McVay. Bullwear, just the junior now, is an 83 overall overall, a die as a junior in 83. I gotta use these guys before they go. And I do wanna get some reps with St. Alaire and a die respectively. So Ezekiel Madden, by the way, ended up having 91 speed. I think he will eventually be good, but he's got a long ways to go. Tim Skalski is definitely the starting back right now at 83 overall. It's hard to get fast running backs, dude. I don't know if you guys have ever drafted like a 96 plus speed running back, but it ain't easy. As far as recruits this season, it's been so much harder as a two star instead of a two and a half star. Just trying to keep this team afloat right now. Yes, I know technically you can cheese the shit out of four stars, but I, I just think that's a stupid way to play. Maybe I'll get over it one day or this rebuild will take 20 hours, but let's just go win this game against Old Miss. They're an 86 overall, we're an 82. We have the right trajectory right now. And next season, I think will be our best season yet. That's my hope with my best players, my quarterback, my linebackers, my D tackles that we drafted all as seniors. Vanderbilt. Nate Johnson who, bro? Nate Johnson left in the transfer portal after a pretty okay first year, man. What do you expect? We're in the SEC. And for the record, gentlemen, at least in the old Dominion rebuild, I was trending upwards. We're kind of trending downwards. <laughs> I think I can confidently say this is harder. Ole Miss punts on their opening drive. We got Joseph St. Alaire, who started as a freshman. We got Skalski and some things never change. Luckily, St. Alaire broke a sack, but he bowled through that offensive line without even thinking. Tristan Brown is our star wide receiver in 86 overall. I think we just got to utilize our studs. Let's get an extra blocker in there. Ooh, Brown with a nice corner route. Just out of reach. Bummer. See what we can do here on third and 10 to maybe pick this up. Oh, Colm. Oh my God, that couldn't have been more defensive pass interference if we tried, and that's a punt. On third and six, we'll play a little bit of defense. Joseph Adai's a pass rusher here. 
I gotta try it, dude. Damn, he's so fast. Holy shit. And that's an intentional grounding. Nice pass rush. Unless illegal man downfield? Holding? Well, let's decline that. Make this fourth down. Great work on defense. Holding them to three there. We'll come out on offense, third and two. I got an empty backfield here. I'm gonna roll with a lair. I find RB. Tristan Brown. Another third down alert. Gotta keep this drive alive. I don't know how I feel about empty just because we're getting kind of bulldozed up there, but gotta try and make something happen. One thing I really like about this game is the CPU is actually tough, dude. I know it sounds like something I shouldn't like, but you can't cheese that. Like, that's a perfect example. That linebacker just bagged my fastest wide receiver. It ain't easy. On fourth and two, we're looking to keep this drive alive. See what kind of looks we get. They're gonna leave our tight end. Coleman makes a huge catch. Oh, that's a massive moment. We find ourselves in the red zone. We could take the lead right here. It's been a low scoring game. This may be another blitz. It's first and goal. There's the blitz. He's got position. Caught. Touchdown Commodores. You know what's funny? This is the first touchdown I put in because in that opening game, we didn't score a single touchdown. Ole Miss quickly responds with one of their own and we've got first and 10 here. Gonna roll out and buy some time. I wish that I could have playmakered A. He had room, but I don't think I could have floated that ball over that. Third and 10, coach has got inside zone. I haven't ran the ball a lot, I'll be honest. Let's get Skalski going. There's nothing I can do about that. I Ole Miss puts up another touchdown, but we're in the red zone. First and 10, a lot of heat, really fast. Dude, what kind of speed stat do you have? I'd really like to be able to run the ball. I don't want to give up on it yet. Second and 10, good, get out to, oh, get up there, buddy. Damn, you're slow. It's third and eight. Not a lot of options for us here. Let's see if we can make something happen on the all go. Oh my God, they leave Coleman. Oh no, great play. We're gonna have to settle for this field goal here. Should not be a particularly tough one. Don't need all the power in the world either. Put that in, make it 10 to 17. It's a winnable ball game, but they are giving us hell right now. It's a big third down. We gotta make a stop. 17 to 10, force the field goal. Let's see what they go with. I'm on Spruce in the middle here, number 11. Most likely a pass. We've got a motion. It's play action pass. Get home. Bullware. I love him, dude. Sadly though, the sim logic has us right back in the exact same scenario on first and goal. Do they snap this? No. I also think after this season, we should consider a different offensive playbook. I'm still rocking Vandy's. Damn. And they just push that right through the middle. I think I am gonna rock a different playbook next season. Uh-oh. Fourth and 14, I'm getting pulled in to keep the drive alive. See what kind of coverage this is. Oh, they leave the tight end. Stop leaving Coleman. Why you keep leaving my boy? They hand it back to me on fourth and 11. Thanks guys. Let's see if they leave Coleman one more time. We'll give him a corner out here though. Oh wait, they do leave that. Oh no, he reacted so fast. Damn it. I thought he's gonna follow the tight end. Another turnover. A stop from defense though. Take over at the 33. Can we put together a nice long drive here, Alaire? Okay, there's a... Delayed linebacker blitz there, so the middle frees up. That's a good 12 yards for Vandy. I don't know that I wanna go play action though. I'm a little scared of play action. What do we think about Brown? Do we have time for this? Oh, good God. Second and 21, take the easy one. There's Skalski. Nice spin, buddy. Another one. Let's keep it up. We're putting together a good drive here. Stay clean in the pocket. They're gonna leave the boy again. I did not mean to do that. Can we pick up one yard on inside zone? I'm honestly so scared of this play call. Coach has got hatback zone weak here. <laughs> Jesus. That's just insane. When I say coach is calling a play, I'm talking about coach suggestions. I understand that I am the coach of the team. I could call any play, but I don't like to cheese the spam plays over and over either, you know? Fourth and four, they're gonna get a delay game. I wonder if that was on purpose. Can the CPU really get a delay a game on accident? Unless that was one of those Bill Belichick intentional delay of games so that your punter has more room. And if this game has that logic coded in, I will be so impressed. It's also a punt dot. I'm starting on the five. I mean, this is safety territory. I'm not even gonna lie. Holy shit. Well, I called it at the least. You know what? It was a really tough game against Ole Miss. Right now, just the overall disadvantage is getting these D linemen on me so fast, but this is a good sign of things to come. I mean, we got blown out 31 to zero against Virginia Tech. We had a chance here against Ole Miss. It's better but it's still gonna be tough. Now, I do wanna change the offensive playbook, but I think it'd be so unrealistic to just change my entire scheme in the middle of the season. You technically can do that, but how can I expect these college kids to learn Oregon's entire playbook in one week? So we'll head to the end of the season, close out year four, and in the off season, we're gonna install a brand new playbook, and it's gonna be the Oregon Ducks offense. Whoa, we ended seven and six? That is awesome. That's our first winning season in a long time. And I had nothing to do with it, sort of. I mean, I put the players there, but I didn't win these. We beat Tennessee!
We beat Tennessee. We beat Utah State. Nice. Lost. No, we beat Oklahoma. Okay, Oklahoma sucks. They're three and nine, but we beat them. We did lose to Ole Miss, obviously. I'm missing a game in here. No, we actually just ended the season with a bunch of wins. Nice job, you guys. That's actually so exciting. And I apologize. I actually just missed our bowl game. I just didn't expect us to get there. It was the Gasparilla Bowl. We lost to NC State 33 to 30. I also apologize. I haven't been doing a good job of looking at my season stats. St. Alaire in his junior year goes for 3,300, 30 touchdowns, and 15 interceptions. Skalski, damn, Vanderbilt puts up running back numbers. I didn't even notice this until right now. Skalski, 842 and 4. 34 broken tackles. Great season, buddy. I mean, if you look at other big programs like Virginia, their running back had 578. Virginia Tech's had 454. 552, 558. Here's Washington with 839. I guess my point is that's a very impressive running back season. It's good to know that Vanderbilt offense is good on running backs. If I get an absolute standout down the line, I may come back to this offense. But it's time to switch up the scheme. The question you're probably asking is why Oregon? Well, number one, Oregon's really good. I know their playbook's good. But my favorite thing about this playbook, every time I played Oregon, it feels like I'm not losing to the players. I'm losing to the scheme. Oregon has all these RPOs, all these different concepts, and they spread the ball out really, really well. And that's really what we have with Vanderbilt. We don't have any standout monsters, but we've got a competitive overall. Hopefully this Oregon spread utilizes everybody on the lineup and isn't so reliant on star players because we're just not going to have the firepower that Alabama and Georgia have. And I'm putting more points into strategy just so that we can land those big recruits. Maxing out the quarterback tree. All right, massive season coming up here. Coming off of a seven and six season, kind of a surprising seven and six season. We're at 80 overall, and it's the final year for some of our absolute best players. Omani Adai, now a star, 87 overall in his senior year. St. Alaire, an 83 overall in his senior year. He's got platinum tier sleight of hand. He also has gold tier step up and bronze pull down. So St. Hilaire definitely moving him up in that depth chart was the right call. Our wide receivers are all sophomores and all really fast. So two years from now, we're gonna have the best wide receiver core we've had in a bit. We just won't have St. Alaire. So I do need to look at who his successor is. And Maka Nye, the freshman, looking like the obvious answer. Already a 77 overall as a freshman, which is higher than where St. Alaire started. We're really set at the quarterback room to just have this guy plug and play, ready to go. He's already got way better deep throw accuracy. He will pair nicely as a junior with those wide receivers. Offensive line looks better than it's ever looked either. Jason Tuttle's a junior. Nick Rimpf, Larry Thompson, a junior, 81 overall right guard. We should expect better blocking this time around. It's Simeon Bulware's final season, but he's got a nice backup, Gordon McMullen, for the season after that. And then we got to draft an edge rusher because these freshmen are not going to cut it. Duvall's now an 82 overall. Andrew Spruce, the 87 speed guy we picked up in that first year, now a senior and an 80 overall. Corners look okay. Two of them are juniors. And safeties do leave something to be desired. I thought Ento would progress better than this but he's sitting as a senior at a 77 overall. Buck Walls, I mean, as good as him, just a lot slower. I really thought Ento was, was gonna be a lot higher overall at this point in the year. It's the first time to try out Oregon's playbook and our first game's against App State. Should be a nice W. We only have two technically ranked opponents on the schedule right now, which is Texas and Tennessee, but obviously like, it doesn't matter that Bama's not ranked. They're gonna be a 91 overall. So it's gonna be a really tough game. We are back to a two and a half star program. Let's pop into this first game and see what's going on against App State. App State's an 81 overall, we're an 80. This should be a really, really really good game. I'd be excited to get my first win while playing. It is zero to zero at the end of the first quarter. Vanderbilt first to strike. App State gets seven of their own. 14 to seven now. Look at this Oregon playbook. 21 to seven, 28 to seven. And this is looking beautifully right now. Skulski and a layer in the backfield. We're going to hand this ball off. And wow, to see that many yards on a run, pretty damn exciting. I'd love to see the boys put in a touchdown though. Let's see what Vandy's made of here. This is an awesome start to the season. Skalski, another run. Looks like we're kind of just milking this clock on him. Another run here on second and seven. Skalski is getting his work as a senior. Third and four, looks like we may go pass here. It's the senior year for our wide receiver, Brown, as well. And there's a speed option? <laughs> I knew I liked this playbook. It picks up the first down. Skalski's gonna take a rep or two to breathe. Got our backup half back in here. That's Ezekiel Madden, I believe. 
It is, and he's dragged down quick. Skalski back in, second and 11. We could take this all the way to the two minute warning. Vandy has other ideas. We're snapping this, going for the draw, and Skalski. One more first down and this game is over. We may not witness. Oh my God, is that a Wildcat? Holy shit, we just brought out Wildcat, Skalski! <laughs> You know, I don't know for a fact that Oregon Playbook's gonna take us to the natty, but I can tell you right now, it's fun to watch. This is two more handoffs and ball game. There goes Skalski, getting hit hard. Looks like, and App State's accepting the loss. There will be no more plays in this game. They're not calling timeouts. And that's all she wrote with this run. Skalski to the edge, and that is all she wrote. Vanderbilt's gonna get a 28 to seven win in our very first game. And I didn't have to play. Beautiful W for the Commodores. Now here's the thing. I don't think we can win the national championship this year, but what I think we can do with such a strong roster headed up by St. Hilaire is get a winning season and go up to a three-star program. We go eight and four this season, win a bowl game. That'd be really exciting. Hey, we close out the season seven and five, which means I will probably get a bowl game and I'll get to play it. Let's take a look at the SEC because at the end of the day, we do kind of need to topple the SEC. So seven and five is awesome, right? But there are literally 12 teams ahead of us in the SEC. We're three and five in the conference, so we did sneak out some wins. Tennessee, South Carolina, and Kentucky are worse with everyone else being better and Arkansas Auburn at the top of the SEC right now. At least the good news is the SEC is shuffling around, so it's not guaranteed that Alabama and Georgia are the best teams. 2028 Heisman is air Nolan. It's a sick name. Senior QB at Ohio State. Wait, so did I not get a bowl game? So many, dude, six and six Army's gonna get a bowl game. I don't think I got a bowl game. Oh my God, that's actually so depressing. I don't exactly know how bowl games are determined, but at seven and five, I really expected. All right, let's see how our seniors did. St. Hilaire's final season was 25 and nine, best touchdown interception ratio. Dude, he had, he's a really, really good player. Hilaire ends as an 87 overall. Nice job, buddy. It was an awesome season, Alaire. Skalski's actually a junior. I thought he was a senior, but another good season for him. 601, a little regression in Oregon playbook, uh, but through the air, Anthony Gallo goes over 1,012 touchdowns. It's an amazing season for our 96 speed 6'3 guy. McVay had an awesome season as well. Marquise Barrett had an awesome season as well. Both these guys are seniors, so they will be out of here, uh, but Gallo will be returning since he's only a sophomore. Skalski returns, and we have a good quarterback to step in. We got seven and a half out of Bullwear. Seven and a half out of Sauerbrunn, six out of Duval, and six out of a die. We recruited all three of these guys, so that's exciting to see. With no bowl game ahead of us, we'll head to next season. Gotta set the depth chart properly, and I gotta pay a little bit more attention to recruiting. So far, I haven't paid enough attention to recruiting. And I gotta get back on top of that. All right, 2029 roster, highest overall we've ever seen on Vanderbilt, 84 overall. Offensive line's really good right now. This could actually be a much better season than I had anticipated, but yeah, we're gonna lose a lot of really good seniors which is sad. It's Skalski's final year. Uh, we are in a really good spot at quarterback position though. So Makanai is gonna start this year. He's already got three bronze tier abilities. He's a sophomore redshirt and he's a 77 overall. So hoping he develops well. Wide receivers are better than they've ever been. And I did make one personnel change at free safety. So the current starter is Dorian Stingley. Take a look at the freshman though, Ethan Coleman. He's a 75 overall, so two overalls lower. Dude, but Coleman is six foot three and he's a freshman. This guy's gonna develop like crazy. So I'm sorry, Stingley, but I'm gonna move them around in the depth chart. So Ethan Coleman's the starter. It feels a little weird benching a senior, but I know that those guys will progress so much better with extra reps. And then I did a really thorough dive on our recruiting board. There's two four stars that we could get our hands on. There's Moses Priester, speed rusher left end. He would be awesome. And then Abraham is a busted gem, but still a really, really good four star right guard. I also identified some gems. We got Joel Truman who's a two-star gem. Javier Hayden, 96 speed, 95 excel, three-star gem, six foot one wide receiver. Would love to pick him up, just redshirt him since our wide receivers are so good right now. Kyrie Love is a gem strong safety. Brian McMillan, a gem guard. And still kind of working on everyone else, but I'm out of hours this week. We've identified six gems though on the board. Kona Wing, gem white corner. Definitely gonna offer him a scholarship. Week one is at Kansas State. I am gonna pop in and play this game. Our overall is looking really good right now. 84 overall, taking on an 86 overall. We got all white uniforms. Clean, that's clean. All right, let's see what the Wildcats are made of. Let's get off to a hot start in this season. That purple, the purple lights looks clean. It's raining out here too. Six to 14, we're getting down in the red zone, but we're not converting. I wanna make sure I'm using Skalski. It's his senior season. Let's give him a throw here. 
Just out of reach. Wait. Oh, right there. Clark, good catch. We got a star center now, gentlemen. Larry Thompson throwing a really good block there. Skalski gets close, but not quite. Let's no huddle this. Hit him with the exact same thing. Run right behind our star center. Look at that. Skalski, you earned it, buddy. You put in five great years with this program. I'm in for the two minute drill. Just gonna go Skalski. Tough catch, buddy. Ooh, the corner strike to Gallo. Dude, I gotta say, working on the offensive line has paid off, dude. It feels so good to just kind of. <laughs> Dude, you cannot make up a, a worse announcer jinx than what just happened. Dude, barring the touchdown I put in, we literally did not score other than field goals. Yikes. Not a good opener. We're scheduling a visit for the four star. Luckily, it's against a dog shit team, the FCS. So that should be a good visit for Priester. Also gonna schedule a visit for Elton Abraham. So the two four stars are visiting for this FCS game. I don't know what he likes. Guess I'll do one-on-one -on -one coaching. An easy commit from the gem, 95 speed, Javier Hayden. That's an awesome commit. Also a gem. Kyrie Love, PJ Dwyer commits, wow. Those were so easy and two of those dudes were gems. All I did was send the house, nice. We also get those hours back now, which is big because I really want Moses Priester. Let's give him a hard sell. Ah, uh, this is the best I can do. Two A pluses and a D, but it's the best I can do. They both have visits scheduled. I'm scheduling Hepburn. Dude, there is a lot on this visit. Connor Hepburn commits as well. Kona Wing, nice. He's only a two star, but he's a gem. Actually, both those guys were gems. Dude, we're nailing all the gems. If we can get the two four stars, it'll be an amazing recruiting season for us. And this is the FCS Southeast. We're actually three and one headed into this game. Dude, I swear if I watch a game, we lose, but I should smack the shit out of this team. I'm going to play this game. We have three huge visits scheduled. We have a 14 overall advantage and we're at home against the Pandas. Shout out to not the expert. In the second quarter though, it's seven to seven. We got to make a big stop here. Hey, pass rush gets home. We put up another seven. They got me coming in on offense. Third and six. Makanai is not that fast, but dude, Gallo, Gallo is six foot three. I thought that was, no, that's the easiest conversion. Darn it. I got lost in the sauce looking at Gallo. I want single coverage. I want to throw up a beam. That's single coverage. Gallo's fast. I know he is. He's got him by a bit. What a ball. Maka Nye. I don't know how he couldn't make that tackle, dude. He was on my hip. Huge touchdown. The Pandas get their own touchdown. It's 14 to 21. I literally think I could do that again. Skalski's got man coverage now. Oh my God, Skull. Oh shit, I didn't see the safety. Ooh, just break that up, buddy. Dude, I am like so bad at spotting safeties in this game. That's all right. Second and 10, Maka Nye is hot as he should be. I'm gonna step up in this pocket. Find X. Gallo, beautiful. Clock's not moving. We're gonna step up in the pocket and go down. That was really well defended. Let's call a timeout here, regroup, get a good play. Honestly, I just don't see how they guard these corner routes uh, in man coverage. I think Gallo is just gonna be the easiest throw of our lives. And it would be, but I need to get yellow accuracy there so that that actually goes through. That's a tough ball and I just overthrew it again. All right, let's see what the boys can do on their own. I gave them a touchdown and I also gave them a turnover. On third and two, we're in a heavy set. It's speed option. Skalski, there's a flag and that's probably a holding as well. They'll decline this though, because that's good defense. Oh no, they accepted it? That's a really bad accepted penalty because we're gonna probably convert this. Makanai over the middle. Makanai, you are. We just got gifted an opportunity and we turn it over. We got four-star recruits visiting, gentlemen. Let's show them what we got. A little bit of defense, maybe? Good tackle. Well, this certainly ain't a pretty game, but a few more first downs and this game is over, 28 to 20. There's Skalski, the senior pandas are gonna call a timeout. Convert this first down, this game is over. Also, the pandas just earned a point somehow, because I swear that said 20, but Skalski, little too obvious of a run. We're gonna punt this ball away. Punt does not look good at all. It was a very bad punt and he chose to field that. This game ain't over. Clean pocket for the pandas. He's heaving one deep, stop it. If they, oh my God, this is about to be a tie game. I have a 14 overall advantage, how on earth? I played Virginia Tech who had like two overalls on me and I couldn't breathe. All right, gentlemen, we need a money drive here and I'm putting into your guys' hands. I, I can't come in here and cheese the pandas. I need Makanai to do it all by himself. We'd really like that field goal, huh? When we were in the red zone, we threw an INT. Could really use that right now. Makanai's got a very clean pocket and a wide open Gallo. He's having a career day. 
down the sidelines. Oh, that was Clark, my bad. That's the tight end. I thought that was Gallo. We had so many big receiving threats. Wow, just like that, Vandy's back on top. And after a big defensive stop, the Commodores come out on top. Huge fourth quarter. That was crazy how fast we got back up. Maka Nye. The sophomore player of the game, almost 300 yards and four touchdowns. It wasn't a pretty win, but we moved to four and one. We haven't faced the tough part of our schedule yet. Those recruits just witnessed a big win and a fourth quarter big touchdown, some clutch moments. So hopefully that moves the needle on those guys. Huge, huge win. We get the four-star left end, Moses Priester. We get Joel Truman. I'm looking for the four-star guard though. That's Elton Abraham. He's reached his top three schools. And hey, we're a B-plus championship contender. It's the best we've ever been. Now we take out Alabama, who is two and two. I gotta see where that guard's sitting at though. So Priester's in. Elton Abraham looking a lot better in our favor. Gotta get a hard sell on him though. We should have a decent hard sell too. All right, Elton Abraham, we need prestige, coach prestige, and proximity to home. There we go. A, B minus, B plus. That's a great hard sell. And we actually can also contact his friends and family. Looks like we might get two four stars this year. And we've picked up a lot of other really good players too. And a verbal commit out of a two star right end as well. Why not? Hey, Elton Abraham, the hard sell worked. We got our huge two four stars in almost every gem we looked at. What an awesome recruiting season this was for us. And we just must have beat Bama because I went up in championship contender. This is our best season by far. Five and one, we're ranked. We're ranked for the first time ever. It also helps that the SEC sucks right now. I mean, LSU sucks. Alabama's got a losing record. Hold up. Conference standings, we are fourth in the SEC. Tennessee is on our schedule. Arkansas and Ole Miss ahead of us. That Tennessee game's gonna be big. Three star tight end. Everyone's committing. Jurovich commits. Ooh, but we lost that game. Isaac Duvall wins SEC Defensive Player of the Week. This was like the first four star I ever got. A three and four Missouri team on the clock here. That's a win. No. That was a loss. Got ranked Auburn next at home. Another commit, three-star middle linebacker. That was a win. We just beat Auburn at home against Kentucky. Another little two-star guard commit. Been a great recruiting season still. 2029 is treating us well. And we, oh my God, we got past Kentucky too. All right, conference standings. We're still fourth in the SEC. We're four and two. Oklahoma, Arkansas, Georgia in front of us. Texas right now. Three-star QB commit. Oh my God, wait a minute. We're eight and three. We're definitely getting a bowl game. We got six and five Tennessee here. I got to let this get simmed. I wanted to step in, but I don't want to cheese it. We're on such a good streak right now. Definitely going to get a bowl game. That's what I'm most excited about. Oh, we're eight and four. So we lost to Tennessee. Definitely our easiest schedule. It didn't look easy on paper, but since Bama and LSU were not good this year, kind of ruled them out. So no SEC championship game since we're eight and four, but we're absolutely getting a bowl game. We're absolutely getting a bowl game, right? And if I don't get a bowl game at eight and four, I'm going to cry. Now the three-star corner commit, Drew Wolf. Got our big four stars, got our gems. Now it's time for a bowl game. Ooh, Toledo QB wins Heisman, Tyrone Carlisle. That's really cool to see. I love when a team like Toledo gets it. That's sick. Congratulations. Got our bowl game, baby, the Cheez-It Bowl. It's the gold squads going at it. The Vanderbilt Commodores against the UCLA Bruins in the Citrus Bowl. No playoffs for us. I didn't expect it this season at all. We had an awesome season though. Looks like Tulane, Syracuse, Cincinnati, and Georgia get the buy. Dude, too late. I need to do a two lane rebuild. They're onto something over there. UCLA is six and six in this bowl game. Hopefully this is a nice matchup for us. I'm definitely going to play this one. 86 overall or an 82 overall. We started the season at an 84. That must have been from boosts or something. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Maybe our morale is low since we lost our last game against Tennessee. Regardless, this should be an exciting game. The opening kickoff. UCLA starts with the ball. Close game so far. 13 to 7. 14 to 13, 14, 21. It's 19 to 21. Vanderbilt's got the ball on first and 10. Let's go Skalski, boys. Give that puppy to Skalski. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Six yards for the boy. Third and four, big third down conversion. Makanai flushed out. Not a pick six though, right? Makanai just got a hit stick fumble, but UCLA recovered it. Oh my God. First and 10, UCLA's running the football and they're getting a lot of yards on it, but that's a huge hit. Also, that was a fumble. That ball definitely popped out. Whatever, second and inches, probably another handoff. A little motion out of the UCLA running back. He's got the check down, throws over the middle, caught. And he just almost got dragged into the end zone. And he almost just got dragged into the end zone. First and goal, this should be an easy punch in. It's looking ugly, but the game's not over. We're in a four down lineman set. Dude, if they hand this ball off, it's a touchdown. 
What on earth was that defensive play call? Not what we're looking for. And I have a nine point lead. Damn. I was hoping to hop in that game if we had kind of made it close, but following that possession, UCLA puts up two more touchdowns in quick succession. Vandy loses our bowl game, but this was our best season by far. I can only be so upset. 48 to 26. Well, head into the 2030 season. We're coming off our best season yet our best recruiting class yet, and we're poised to get a lot more studs too. I'm gonna put a few four stars on this board. Definitely a lot of three stars that are interested, which is great news. We do have some tough competition for a lot of these guys, but we're in the running. Recruiting's getting a lot easier as our team gets better and better. So that's been a huge help. Overall takes a minor dip, but take a look at that. We are a full three-star program. Gonna make recruiting much better. Best player is our junior left guard, Jamison Robert, 89 overall. So we get another season with him. Craig Graves is now an 85 as a sophomore with 96 speed. Lots of good seniors, but take a look at the quarterback room. James Gilmore, the freshman, is a 77 overall. His deep accuracy is so bad though. Oh, this is a really hard decision. What's your dev trait? His impact dev trait, he's really fast. Maka Nye has normal, that is a bummer. So Maka Nye is not gonna progress that fast. Neither is Lavrone. Do we really try James Gilmore this whole season? So Redshirt, I'm gonna give it a go. He's the fastest quarterback we've had since Nate Johnson, and he develops faster than Maka Nye. Ooh, that's a tough decision. A lot of our good wide receivers are seniors now. Gallo's a senior, Pipkin's a senior, Sheed's a senior, but Craig Graves, it's a really good pickup last season. I sim to the first poll and Four-star wide receiver, Eric McTire does sign. Six, three, four-star wide receiver. That's the best wide receiver we've ever recruited. We're seven and two, 11th in the nation. Oh, were our losses in the SEC though? Shit. So both of our losses came to SEC opponents. That's kind of what we expect. Looks like we lost to Florida, who's eighth in the nation. We beat Mississippi State, beat Arkansas, beat Ole Miss. Nice. We beat the FCS Southeast. They always give us trouble. Got smacked by Oklahoma and we won every other game. Awesome. Let's check in with that freshman scrambler quarterback, James Gilmore. 21 and nine is okay. He's got 376 yards on the ground and four touchdowns. Honestly, I'm impressed. He's already progressing well. He's technically boosted to an 84, which is gross. I'm really scared about his deep accuracy. I feel like that might get us in trouble, but he's only a freshman. Eric Morris, Vanderbilt. Ooh, we closed the season super weak though. Seven and five should get us a bowl game. And Gilmore ends his first season as a starter, 3,000 yards 26 and 12 this is our future quarterback absolutely got 945 yards out of graves who's the youngest wide receiver we have and gallo in his senior season he got 42 receptions but he just made so much less of them than graves did craig graves is a dog he's got impact dev trade he's six foot three really excited about that dude and defensively who is our best guy Johnny Chester. Johnny Chester's only a junior, which is awesome. He's got impact dev trait. And two interceptions out of Molinaro. I'm gonna miss him, but that was his last season with us. Well, I shouldn't say that. We still got a bowl game. So we can get a bowl game win, finally. Been to two bowl games in our rebuild. We've lost them both. One to NC State, one to UCLA. I mean, it's possible that at 7-5, and five, I don't get a bowl game. I just, I don't know how this works well enough. Sion Yang, Kansas State wide receiver wins the Heisman. And I don't think we didn't get a bowl game. I gotta learn bowl game seating. Now in 2031, we have strung together two straight winning seasons. Best player on this lineup is Johnny Chester on the D line. And Jamison Robert is now a senior. So two seniors, 89 and 88 overalls respective. Graves is an 88 as a junior wide receiver. And James Gilmore is our fourth best player as a sophomore. Moses Priester. This was that notable four star that we had visit. Impact dev trait, four star. Also a sophomore, rocking an 85 overall. This guy is going to be a freak for us. I'm so glad we got him. Also that four star, Elton Abraham. He's now an 81 overall as a redshirt freshman. Bryce Wayne's a 78 as a redshirt freshman. And Aluakon's a 73. Probably the most notable signing from last season was Eric McTire. This was that four star we grabbed. Star dev trait, which is higher than impact. The best one I think is called Elite. It's above star, but still, He's got platinum tier winning time already as a freshman. The wide receiver room is looking really, really good. And of course, Gilmore, only as a sophomore, looks excellent. Got one of the fastest halfbacks we've ever recruited at 93 speed, but definitely the starter right now 
is Kevin McKeithen, backed up by Dave Lenz. We got a one-two punch at halfback for sure. Wide receivers are just gorgeous, and they're all juniors or sophomores. Terrence Meekins, ooh. Tight ends have never looked worse, I'll just be honest. Offensive line looks very strong right now. D-line also looks very strong. Linebackers could use a little bit of work. I've been slacking in the MLB department, but at least Duff is a sophomore. Corners are mediocre, but damn, Shane Egan, I did not realize this, but he's got 97 speed. He's a senior though, so hopefully we can get a good season out of him. It's not out of the question that we could really make a push this season. We've got a lot of good pieces. I think this schedule is gonna determine a lot. All right, two straight winning seasons. Can we make it three? Georgia and Florida, gonna be monsters. CMU, FCS Midwest should be wins. UConn, Mississippi State, UMass, Arkansas. We close the season with Oklahoma, Ole Miss, A&M, and Tennessee. Here we go. Nine and three. Oh, that's not gonna be, oh! Gosh, I just can't win enough games to really make it to the playoffs. But this is our best season by far. We're definitely getting a bowl game. I wanna win a bowl game, please. We're six in the SEC. The SEC is so tough, dude, to go nine and three and have Tennessee, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Texas, and Bama in front of me. And all three of my losses came against SEC opponents. That's how it's gonna be boys. Gilmore had a huge step up this season. Also, his overall went up significantly. Went from a 79 to an 83. 3,800 yards, 30 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions. McKeithen had a really good season. 11 tutties, 532. And Javier Hayden. Remember when we got the gem? Javier Hayden? 1,000 yards and 4 touchdowns. Hayden has star dev trait. He's that 3-star gem beautiful. And defensively, we had the best performance out of our backup D tackle, who's a 74 overall. Chester and Priester hardly got home. I mean, they had good TFLs, but I expect them to be getting home a lot more than this. That or I need to go back to the drawing board on drafting D tackles, because maybe D tackles are just, those are the guys. Let me see the bowl game, please. Let me get a good bowl game, too. Give me something juicy. Kona Hufanga of UCF. I saw those colors. I was like, is that us? UCF QB threw in it. One single interception the entire season. It's insane. Oh shit! It ain't a bowl game! It's the playoffs! I guess we are a top 10 team though. We're ninth in the nation, which is weird because we were 11th before. Somebody must have lost a big game. Taking on TCU in the playoffs. All right, it's our first shot here. I'm gonna step in and play. Here's the roster in our first college football playoff game. Dude, being six in the SEC and making it is pretty electric. Jamison, Robert, and Chester are two best players. Graves is our third best, and Gilmore boosted to an 87. There's Priester. There's, ooh, a little Bordeaux shout out right here. Elton Abraham, Ted Spitzer. Dude, look at the wide receivers we got here. 296 speed demons, neither seniors. Awesome O-line, and honestly, an awesome D-line. Chester on one edge and Priester on the other. T TCU! Yeah, they got five overall on us, but we're ready to play ball, baby! We're finally made the playoffs! The Horned Frogs. This is an interesting matchup here, but I'm really excited for it. I'm gonna try and put my team in a position to win, but if it comes down close, I'm gonna let the sim take over. We'll watch in. First key moment, defense needs a little bit of help, and that's an understatement. This is a heavy set to the left. I am not supposed to be on Priester right now. Quick throw, big hit! That was our 97 speed corner with the hit there. Also, my, I can't switch off a of Priester right now. I'm actually player locked on Priester. Okay, well, I guess I'm Moses Priester for today. I am not used to usering a D lineman, but now I can switch. That's a big boy tight end. We're gonna send an all out blitz. I can't switch off Priester. I'm actually stuck. Okay, well, I'll fill the gap then! Hey! Dude, this is also, this is so annoying. I am stuck on a D lineman. We know it's a run. I'm on Priester! Okay, we're making plays though. We're making plays. Uh-oh, if they pass, I'm in so much trouble because I just, I can't defend it. Priester, I can defend it! Oh, fourth and goal. <laughs> and I still can't switch off. What is going on here? Well, maybe I can block a kick. TCU gets a field goal. I'm glad I scouted Moses Priester. Third and four, I'm coming out in Wildcat. The balls on these gentlemen cut it up the field. McKeithen, a first down. And we somehow managed to get no points out of that, guys. Okay, third and four, stadium's getting loud. Let's see how this looks. I'm throwing a risky one. It's dropped. Damn. Third and 10, I can't make audibles right now. This kind of looks like a blitz. Not a blitz. Oh, that's not a great ball, but it's still caught. Craig Graves. Kid's only a sophomore. Put a little RPO peak slant here. Lens, Dave Lenz, a great backup halfback. We're gonna hand that off. And we're gonna walk that into the end zone. Commodore's on the board. Big third down, am I stuck on Priester? No, I'm stuck on Egan. I can't switch players. It's just whoever they give me. And this time I'm on Egan, but we get the pass breakup. 
that's going to be our ball. Well, at least on offense, I can make adjustments and stuff. It's actually let me play. First and 10 here. I'm going to step up with Gilmore. Don't for... Oh. I don't forget. I mean, me don't forget. Gilmore has 93 speed. That is a scrambler quarterback. Oh, dragged down, but RB was open. I can't miss that read. I'm going to give Craig Graves a chance, but that DB's got pretty good position. He got some mitts up on it, but no catch. Now third and 16. We're widened out once more. See if we can pick up something big right here. Okay, that's a delayed blitz. It's going to leave a Luacon who makes an easy catch. Son of legendary linebacker, Folio Sadaluacon. I swear. I saw it in his notes. First and 10. Craig Graves has another opportunity, but why are you so open? Aluakon again. Ezekiel Aluakon just got the two easiest catches of his life. Coach is keeping us empty. Second and 13. Maybe if this is man, we can hit Hayden. It is man coverage. Hayden, is it out of reach? It is. Huge missed opportunity, and I said his deep accuracy might get us in trouble. Down the line. Now third and 13. We're starting to see it. It's a delayed blitz there. We're just going to pick up as much as we can. McKeithen turns the corner. That's a first down. We're going Wildcat read option, baby. And I'm handing this off to Lenz. I'm going to keep this simple. Dave Lenz! There's a flag. That's a holding on a touchdown. That is a huge mistake. There's a double team on the left side. I've got one of the fastest QBs in the nation. Why make the pass when you can walk it in? 14 to 10, another big third down, and I'm gonna be player locked on whoever they give me. I'm on Egan. Again, I'm in man coverage. I do not like this. Uh-oh, I'm a little bit behind it. Good defense. He could have thrown it on me. Somehow we instantly turned the ball over. Okay, well, if this is a handoff, I gotta scream down with Egan, first and goal. It is a handoff. I'm coming down as much as I can. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I'm playing our road to glory out here. I'm player locked and it won't let me switch. 14 to 17, I'm back on defense. I'm on Egan. Okay, it's a handoff. I can come over and make tackles. I can force fumbles. I can pick that ball up. Egan's got 97 speed. Oh my God. It was all part of the plan. The 97 speed corner, Egan. Maybe that's who I should be using anyway. End of the third quarter, 21 to 17 in our first college football playoff game. We're not passing the ball very well, but that huge defensive play could be the turning point. Back on Egan this time, it's another handoff. So after the snap, I can switch players, but right now I'm just bugged. Second and two, I just got to sink for the run. It's an RPO, uh-oh, 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 yikes. Great play. Please let me play offense. Why would I not get an opportunity on offense there? 24 to 21. I'm on Egan. Uh-oh. I didn't even see him. The fucking camera angle. I didn't even know there was a wide receiver that far out. Oh, this is so frustrating. I don't know what they want me to do. We need a touchdown quick. First and 10. There's a pass into McKeithen who makes a ridiculous catch. Gotta go no huddle. Get this in the end zone as quick as we can. Double team on the left side again. Oh, they got off at that time but we're gonna loop it back around. Gilmore, you are a freak show if you do something with this. Should've thrown that ball away. I didn't realize where that line of scrimmage was. Now third and seven. Coach has got the exact same play. I'm stepping up up the middle. Gilmore is a Chico. Vanderbilt, if this game is winnable, except they're gonna put me on defense here. See, this is what I meant by the camera angle. I can't even see the wide receiver, but it's gonna be a handoff. Gotta come across with Egan and dude. They pretty much just put the game away with that free first down right there. I'm stuck on Egan. This is such a bummer to be stuck here. First and 10, they'll snap it with no time left. Another handoff. He goes down, timeout. It's gotta be three runs, no? I mean, they could throw an RPO here and I'd be in trouble, but I'm sinking over with Egan. Motion's over. It's a fake jet sweep handoff. Timeout. I assume this is one more handoff out of TCU. I've got a light blue with Egan. Motion's one man over, I'm shifting. There's the handoff. Great tackle timeout. We're gonna have a shot, 28 to 31. And they're gonna let me return this. We got Hayden and no coverage, but it worked. Oh my God, kind of just burning clock, but I, I guess I added a couple yards to that. We have 32 seconds and no timeouts to get in the end zone. This is gonna be tough. The stadium is real loud. First and 10, I'm gonna go Hayden. Uh-oh, that's a bad ball, not a good ball. I gotta hit the yellow there. We need Hayden on the corner strike. It would be so perfect, he gets open. I mean, sort of, and it's caught. We have to go so fast up the line. That clock's gonna be moving as soon as they reset the chains. First and 10, 18 seconds on the clock. Snap it, okay. 
Not a good ball, but you have to get out of bounds, McKeith, and he does. Second and five, 11 seconds. It's gonna come down to potentially a really big field goal here, but that's only if we're in range. What do we think about Meekins on this deep corner? They have that pretty covered. Oh my God, whoa. You gotta get this ball out. And that's ball game against TCU. Super good game. I'm so happy we made the playoffs. I'm just really frustrated that I got player locked on defense. There was nothing I could do to turn that off. Unlucky time, but you know what? We did make a gigantic play out of it. So close, but just not enough. Vanderbilt taking our loss with a little bit of grace here. And we've got so many players returning. I feel good. The time to capitalize is right now, gentlemen. We are 10th in the nation in 2032. This was the year I think I won it with Iowa. We have the best overall. We've ever had 85 overall stanford first they're ranked got scs east and sam houston nice lsu auburn bama second in the nation texas fourth tennessee 15 yeesh development for james gilmore has been amazing he's got a plus five boost right now he has so many abilities now too and he's a junior it's technically a 90 overall dude's got gold magician silver mobile resistance silver off platform extender option king james gilmore baby we're back to a scrambler qb in honor of nate Johnson. Priester and Maldonado looking really good. We did lose some really good senior offensive linemen, but Joe Hayden returns. McKeithen is now a senior, so is Lenz. We did lose Reeves in the transfer portal, but it's a good thing we got Eric McTire and Emmett Woods. McTire is a 78 overall as a redshirt freshman. A minor hit to our wide receiver room, but we were able to pick up a better tight end, which I was kind of looking for. This is a blocking tight end though with only 71 speed, so we'll help in the run game. The pass game will be a little ugly. Priester is coming into form. 86 overall, 82 speed. That's a really good edge rusher. Linebackers look solid. All right, boys. If there was ever a time to seal the deal, it's right now. And after a roller coaster of a 2032 season, it all came down to our final game in week 13. Gentlemen, I think this punches our ticket to the playoffs once again, but we gotta beat Tennessee. We're five and two in the SEC. We went eight and three this season, but we're ranked eighth in the nation. We are third in the SEC. That's because we just came off a ranked win against Bama, who now falls below us, Florida and Ole Miss above us. If they lost this week, I technically could compete in the SEC championship, but I'm hoping we win this game, we stay in the top 10 and we go to the playoffs. That's the most important thing. So far on the season, Gilmore's putting up his best season yet. Yet, 32 and 8. Emmett Woods is our number one wide receiver with Javier Hayden close behind 10 touchdowns, 716. He's an 88 overall right now. And defensively, Priester is finally our number one guy. Seven sacks for him. And our D tackles continue to put up numbers despite not being that high of overalls. I think that's a big point that I missed on this team. I should have drafted better D tackles. Regardless, this is a must win game. Let's hop in, play the moments. Dude, it feels like I, I've won so few games where I'm actually playing the moments. I, it's been difficult as expected though they've got five overalls on us but we're an 85 we're a competitive team and they've lost a lot of games this season let's try and keep that up opening play against tennessee is a slip screen and that's a blitz what a beautiful time to run this mckeithen's getting insane downfield blocking awesome start to this game sending everyone on this all go here if hayden gets a good release i want him oh my god hayden are you kidding Oh my God, Javier Hayden. That was a star corner. That's the best release you could ask for. Everybody's hot right now. I'm going for two. We're running this football. Not the blocks we wanted. It was an aggressive play call, but I like it. Third and seven. Uh-oh, pocket collapses. Shoot. We maintain the lead though. It's a big third down. Can I, can I switch defensive players? Uh, I can. I can choose my defensive players. Third and five. Uh-oh. What on fucking earth was that? What kind of glitch? Tennessee puts up a point. Sometimes I really just feel like I shouldn't play. Hey, third and five, I did get us a touchdown. Let's not be, let's be realistic. Take the easy ones to McKeithen who breaks a tackle, makes this fourth and two, and coach is having us go for it. I love that. I honestly think we should go speed option. We got such a fast quarterback. Fourth and two, speed option to the left side. Oh my God. Gilmore, you're keeping this football and you're going out of bounds with it. They got us in the red zone, first and 10. First and 10, I'll take the easy yards to McKeith. Just a single yard, I'm totally fine with that. I'm gonna send him out to the left. This looks like a blitz. Oh, but I got a little bit of room with Gilmore. That's so risky, so risky. I don't need anything crazy, just a little push. Reset the chains, first and goal. Same exact formation, first and goal, four man rush. Middle looks open, Gilmore! I love having a fast quarterback. Gonna try wide receiver mid-screen. This is a really cool play. 
It's cool. Oh my God, he could have just intercepted that with his helmet. Third and 10. This is a really big conversion if we can pick it up. It's a lot of routes out there. Oh, I'm gonna try. Oh, McKeithen's so open. Those pockets just collapse fast. Third and one before the half. I'm gonna blitz here on this left side. In case this is a run. It's not, it's a pass. It's a quick one, he throws over the blitz, nice. Gotta be a run, right? I'm run committing middle, I'm bringing Wisniewski over. I've got every gap accounted for. We should be, oh no, that's really bad. Oh no, it worked out! It worked out! Good work, boys. Second and goal, probably a pass now, no? Five yards to go, a little bit less than that. It is a pass. Don't give him anything! He steps up, does the same thing I did to them. Nice play. My next moment is on defense, I hate that. Third and five. Oh, it's a play action, but we've got Screamers, Priester. Moses Priester gets home. Fourth and 12, great stop. They don't get the field goal. And I'm back on defense. Can I get a rep on offense, please? Third and four, definitely a pass. I need Priester to get home again. Quick pass. What on earth? It's 28 to 13, apparently they scored again and I didn't get an opportunity. Oh, but Hayden just fried them. Makes the catch, gets in the end zone. Game's on the line, they need me to make a stop. Oh gosh, I don't know boys. First and 10, RPO, comes out easy. I'm on Petway, it's third and seven, we're guessing pass. Oh, that was a mistake. But Priesters, oh my, okay, it worked. Except that's field goal range. I think this game might be over. They're not gonna kick a 50? Tennessee's kicker must be shit. I cannot believe we force a punt there and he's gonna, it's gonna be a touchback. Got a chance. I'll get to call every play on this drive. I'm gonna start out with RPO. Beauty. Ooh, they're fast. Second and eight, just no huddle. We got two timeouts. Don't gotta panic. Dude, Hayden's been so good today. This edge rusher is pissing me off. Third and eight, all go and it kind of looks like the middle's open. See what happens here. It's a bit open. We have to go for it anyway, so I'll take those five yards just to make this more manageable. Stop. Oh my God, Gilmore! That pocket collapsed like no other, but Gilmore got out of it. I need a touchdown though. First and 10, 31 seconds, a timeout remains. I'm going Javier. Oh my God, he may actually have that. Javier! Blown coverage! He, he couldn't find the ball. We're in range. I can step up. I can playmaker RB, he's gonna throw a block for me! We gotta get the go for two though. No, they didn't let me do it. Did we get it or not? We got it. It's simmed the go for two and we got it. It's overtime. Second and four, read option. What a play! He's gonna fucking smoke a big hit. What, who is this guy? Conrad McGinnis was born to play football. Oh my God, first and goal, it's a run. I form, gotta be, oh. My God, what a play, but Moses Priester single-handedly made that play. I cannot believe Moses Priester was just in at linebacker. Third and goal, just hold your zone. No, he steps up, gets rocked! Fourth and goal, they're kicking the field goal. Dude, this quarterback does not know how to fumble. No way they fake this, right? No way, in OT. Oh my God, he shanked it from 10 yards out. All we need is a field goal to win it. We believe in miracles around here, dude. Could we block though? Two yards on the run. We don't have to do anything aggressive here, but I would like to make this field goal more manageable. I prefer if this was as easy as possible. Second and eight, double team on the right side. Thank you. Gilmore's gonna have a little bit of room. I don't get the camera angle switch, but it didn't matter. I don't wanna come out and take this field goal unless we have to. I'd actually rather get a touchdown. Okay, I'd rather we didn't fumble too. Let's get ball carrier on conservative. Second and six, we're gonna go another run play here. Dave Lenz is in for this one. Ball carry conservative, third and four. This is gonna be one hell of a field goal. One more handoff. Hey, if you wanna punch this in, Lens, I'll feel a hell of a lot better. Oh, so close. We got a yard to go. I'm going I form, fullback dive if we have it. I formation, we're in goal line. McKeithen's back in. It's first and goal, right up the middle. He's still not in. Putting this game in the hands of Gilmore on a QB sneak. We need an inch, gentlemen, an inch. Gilmore! And we win. We gotta go to the playoffs for that, right? We gotta. I mean, potentially if Georgia lost, we could be in the SEC championship. Oh my God, down by eight with 31 seconds and a timeout.
Gilmore 263 and five, what a game. That was a massive win. Let's see what the implications are. Hey, right after that, we get a four star QB commit. Yeah, I'd commit two after that game. We're an A plus championship contender. We're sixth in the nation now. SEC Offensive Player of the Week, of course it is. Although those stats are wrong. I think it's showing only his passing touchdowns because he had three rushing. Ooh, Michigan QB wins Heisman. Terrell Anger. We might see him in the playoffs. Oh, this is a hell of a first playoff game. Round one versus Georgia. All right, boys, headed into this game. I'm so proud of this team, dude. Gilmore and Maldonado are 90s. We've got 389s, 88s, a ton of 86, 85, 84s. Everyone's playing so well right now, and honestly, our playoff MVP right now is probably Javier Hayden. He made that game so much easier against Tennessee. Uh, but it doesn't matter if we can't beat Georgia, and we know Georgia's gonna have a monster roster, so let's take a look at it. Georgia's rocking a 91 overall with an insane middle linebacker. Their quarterback's got 95 speed and 92 to acceleration. Gotta be scared of that. And they've got a 99 speed freshman wide receiver who's probably not getting reps. So we do need to worry about Dylan Calcaterra, but I doubt Niles Soliday is actually getting reps. He's not. Okay, wow, Jesus. They don't have a guy under 94 speed. Look at this wide receiver room. Like, act, like, actually, fuck you, Georgia. What are we doing here? What kind of fucking NIL money is this? The college football playoffs. You can see how cold it is. You can see their breath in the air. But hey, we're at home, baby. I don't like facing Georgia here, but... I, I guess part of me does. If we can get past Georgia right now, we can get past anybody. Starting out with the ball, they're gonna give me a rep early. Don't tell me, Javier Hayden. That is a star corner. I gotta, I gotta, oh my God, he torched him. That's a beautiful ball. Stars be damned, Javier Hayden is our guy. Starting this game out hot. I'm looking at this corner out out of Oisika. He's only got 71 speed. Oh, that's a blitz and a play action. He is open though but it's not the best ball. Okay, that's a lot of blitzers, and look at Javier Hayden sits down, makes the tough catch. Second and 10, it's a soft zone, but Gilmore's up the middle. I'm gonna dive forward just to get a few extra yards in on that. We got a third and one here, and a Luacon right over the middle. Could have maybe racked that, but I was gonna eat a big hit. First and goal, staying in no huddle, keeping them on their toes. It's the same throw, this time a Luacon takes four. Is speed option always there when you need it? Not if you get a bad pitch. Fourth and goal, we'll have to settle for the field goal here. But starting out with three against Georgia does make me happy. And I really hope that's a good kick. That's a beautiful kick. Roughing the kicker? Oh my God, roughing the kicker. That's gonna reset the downs. First and goal on the two, wildcat jet sweep. I've never loved a play call so much. Let's see if Dave Lenz can punch this in in the first round of the playoffs. Wildcat jet sweep. Showboating against Georgia is a bold move. Defense stepped up. It's 7-0. And we have the ball. Going mesh spot here. Not seeing much. Tell you what, Georgia's main coverage might be some of the best I've ever seen. They've got nothing on offense, though. Nothing. Second and 10, we're going outside zone to McEthan. And it looks really good. We're going to cut it up the middle. That's how you follow your blocks. That's 11 yards. Going to go to a pass here. Oh my God, James Gilmore. <laughs> this guy averages a rushing touchdown a game, I think, if not more. Georgia got three. Can we go perfect on our drives? McKeithen might get over the top of this linebacker. It's actually Lenz, but he caught it. What a ball. Touchdown, Vandy. Georgia got a touchdown of their own. There's a minute 12. It's first and 10. I can't believe that. No way you let me do it again, right? Don't need to, because Javier Hayden's right here using his wheels to pick up as much as we can. Let's put up one more, boys. Just how well can we run this? Gilmore up the middle, a great downfield block. I love how quickly the team reacts to downfield blocking. First and 10, there's no star on Hayden, which makes me, oh! Oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? That was the most aggressive pass interference I've ever seen. Oh my God, how did that not get called? Georgia gets three out of it. Georgia gets a touchdown and defense needs my help. No way that just happened. He was so open. I mean, he had his guy by about four yards. He was about to clear it. That is really bad. And now it's 19 to 21 and Georgia's on the goal line. So they're gonna take the lead here. They're gonna take the lead here pretty much no matter what. We just gotta see if we can stop this. If it's a run, potentially an RPO, it's a run. I shot the gap with Wisniewski. We get a huge hit, second and goal. Oh boys, I need you now. We are ready for the run. And there it is. And there it is. And there it is. Good work, boys. Third and goal this time, it's a pass. Oh my God, the halfback just, he dropped it. Dude, what is this game? Fourth and goal, huge kick here from Georgia's kicker. I've seen him shake that before. 
Off the post! Oh my god, we have the lead. Third and 11. Gigantic possession right here. They're gonna leave Gilmore. What are you doing? I didn't mean to dive forward. I meant to slide, but it worked. I swear half of our success is Vanderbilt is other team's kickers sucking. And McKeithen's gonna take a beautiful first down. And that burns Georgia's first time out. We put this in the end zone and kick the PAT. We win the game. Worst case scenario is a fumble. Another good looking run. Lens goes to four. I'm so happy we have two good halfbacks right now. I mean, they know we're running. Second and six inside zone. Oh my God, those blocks are beautiful. McKeithen for five. We get this first down, we win. Wildcat, you haven't failed me yet. Wildcat zone on third and one. You just gotta get there. I dive. Fourth and inches. Gotta go for it. I'm giving this to my fullback. Fullback dive. Fourth and inches. For the ball game, we've gotta let this clock run all the way down. Georgia will have no timeouts. They'd only need a field goal. If we can't convert this, that's a star D tackle we're running over. We just gotta hope the boys can give us a little bit of a push. And they do! Vanderbilt's gonna walk away with this! Oh my god. That's the ball game. 21 to 19. Vanderbilt is moving on. On a dropped pass from a running back and a shanked kick. Oh my goodness, James Gilmore. Not his most impressive stat line, but maybe the most impressive win of his career. Playoff game winner, baby. We're advancing. Who's our next opponent? If my next opponent is Bama, I'm gonna puke in my mouth. Oh yeah, you're committed now that we won a college football playoff game? Yeah, good for you. Ooh, interesting matchup. Number three in the nation, Penn State. Penn State's a 90 overall. This is gonna be just as tough. They've got a 93 overall left end. Their quarterback is slow, but a 90 overall. And he's a fucking freshman. You have a 90 overall redshirt freshman. It's the Beach Bowl. Come on, baby, the Chick-fil-A Bowl. 14 to 24. I'm trusting the boys on this drive. That's a fumble or a pitch. It can't be neither. Oh my god. What on earth? Third and goal. We're gonna go for the end zone here. We gotta. Gilmore throws! Caught! End zone! Woods with a massive catch. Gonna make this 21 to 24. I believe in the boys today. I believe. Huge catch. Third and six. Huge conversion. Find somebody. Find somebody! <gasps> he overplayed the ball going for the pick six. That's a first. That's a miracle first down. We're winning in passing yards, losing in rushing yards. It is Penn State. First and 10. Do I see a handoff here? I do. McKeithen's got a big lane. He's gonna break a tackle in a little more, McKeithen. I was considering playing this game, but I don't know. I think if I play the whole playoffs, I'm just doing too much. I gotta trust in this roster we built. We put so many star players in so many good positions. Second 13, a very questionable draw play call on second and 13. Maybe trying to catch him off guard, and now on third and 12, we're looking for it all. One more time, Gilmore. One more time, Gilmore. Clean pocket. Steps up. Slides. Do you want it or not, Gilmore? Setting up for a punt. I am disgusted. I'm disgusted. Sim be damned. I know I gave a speech about this. I'm stepping in here on first and 10. Oh my God, nasty reverse. Gotta make a clean tackle here. Second and six. And they could run the clock out with a few first downs, so we gotta get the ball back. Penn State's gotta pass here. They do, and the blitz gets home. Fourth and 16, we're getting this ball back. First and 10, 21 to 24. Vanderbilt ball approaching the red zone. Gilmore's gonna throw quick, caught. Woods again. He's been clutch down the stretch. I think we're going to hand this ball off. We're in field goal range to send this OT, but obviously we want to win the ball game. There's a check down to McKeithen who keeps the clock ticking and we're using a timeout here. Interesting. If anything, I thought Penn State would second and one. We're so close, boys. We are so close. It's a pass. Gilmore breaks a tackle. James Gilmore! Did we score too fast? Penn State's got three. We are gonna have a four point lead with this though. I'm so scared that we scored too fast. 28 to 24, that's why I thought our timeout was so weird, but a huge play by Gilmore to keep that alive. All right, how much can we burn on this kickoff? Please return this Penn State. All right, started at 48 seconds. They're gonna start on the 14 with three seconds lost. I don't know that clock's a huge factor. With three timeouts, it's really just their execution is all that matters here on first and 10. But guess what? They've been a great run team all game long, and right now, they have to pass. Penn State has four stars on the offensive line. No stars at wide receiver. Check down, caught in bounds. In bounds. 
Penn State does not burn a timeout for that. Interestingly, that was seven seconds gone, third and six. They need something now. Check down to the halfback is way too open. And he's in bounds. Somebody teach Penn State about clock management. Or actually don't. Don't teach them shit. 23 seconds left. They haven't gotten to the 50 yet. They need a big pass right now. Intercepted! Intercepted by Vanderbilt. We're in victory formation. This game is over. Vanderbilt clutched down the stretch and an interception to seal it. Oh my God. Full sim. No, I lied. I played one defensive possession. I did. Who's player of the game? Is it McKeithen? No. Of course it's Gilmore. He had four touchdowns. He broke a sack to score. There's Woods on that touchdown right there. I think my favorite play was the extender, this one right here. That's why you want that ability extender. You break those sacks pretty often with it. Gilmore's got it. Vanderbilt. Am I two games away or am I one game away? Regardless, we are close to winning the Natty. We won the quarterfinal. We're two games away. I don't think our schedule can get much harder. We played Georgia, now Penn State. Who are we going to see in this next game? Oh my God. Are we for real? Are we so for real? Georgia, Penn State, Alabama. Bama. Wicked work. Let's take a look at this bracket. If we beat Bama, it's either Ole Miss or Pitt. Oh, God. 83 overall, taking out a 90. Yeah, you're the third 90 I've seen, Bama. We're not scared anymore. One more game, gentlemen. One more win, and we can take this puppy home. But we gotta secure it right here. The only thing that stands in front of us is the Alabama Crimson Tide. Come on, Vandy. They're gonna let me open this game up. We've got play action post shot to start this game out. Play action. Pocket collapsing. I do get that off. To who? Who is Adongo? That is my first time ever seeing you, sir. Okay, you didn't even get touched. But luckily, Gilmore's fast as shit. That guy was untouched getting to me. Second and ten. A little motion here. Gilmore. Oh, my God, you're fast. Stiff arm! Gilmore! Second and ten. Good blocks. Really good blocks. Make this a manageable third down. I think I'm gonna run the ball again. This is risky, but those blocks were beautiful and these are too. They're not ready for it at all. Going speed option now. I'm scared of 93, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm going speed option. Okay. Not the best pass in the world or pitch in the world. Jeez. Gentlemen, you had a double team. That's a three man rush. Third and 17, it's ugly now. Oh, that's a blitz over the middle though. Aluakon. That is a yellow pass, which should be full accuracy, and we missed it. That sucks. Let's see if I can get this punt out of bounds at a good spot. Oh, just kidding. Starts at the 26. Big third and five here to hold him to a field goal. It's a screen pass. Am I on it? Oh my God, you're fast. Top of the fourth quarter. It's third and goal. We're gearing up for a run here. They got four yards to go. Oh, they're passing. Intercepted! Petway's got the ball! That running back is so fast. I don't think we can unless we break the tackle. We do, but out of bounds. Huge play though. It's third and four and I'm coming in to secure this. Third and four, the hitch. It's there. It's caught by our blocking tight end. 71 speed's all you need. First and 10. This has been a low scoring game. Hayden, cut Hayden. Cut Hayden. Javier Hayden on the corner route. Touchdown needed. Play action, Hayden. Back to the end zone, what a ball! Vandy takes the lead with the game on the line. Bama's got 75 yards to go. Take me to the natty, boys. Take me to the natty. It's a pass. Easily could have been intercepted. Can we keep getting home like that, boys? I'm gonna blitz Petway and I'm on Keenan here. Third and 10. I think everything's bagged. That's a drop, this is for the game. Fourth and 10, for the game, one more stop. Uh-oh, he might clear over top of me. Okay, just a... Stop that shit! That glitchy ass fucking animation! I'm so sick of that. He like stutter pauses and then flies upfield. First and 10, Bama. That is such an easy stop. Oh, that's horrible. We gotta make a big play now. A catch, but a flag. The refs feel bad about what happened. That's a holding. Definitely accepting that. Field goal does them no good. They need big yards. Oh, I did not know that that one was slip screen. Second and nine. Huge play. Quick pass in. It. Dude, you're busy blowing up a block while they're scoring a touchdown? Oh we need another huge drive. Bantlas back on the board. Field goal will tie this up. Looks like all the scoring is going to come in the fourth quarter, and they are not at all ready for the run. Second and inches. That's fine. Let's use some clocks. Game should be over. Big blitz there. Ooh, Lens goes up for it, doesn't get it. We got third and inches, and they're not going to be ready for the run once again. McKeithen, this should be cake for you, and it is. Blitz over the middle, but it doesn't come through quick enough. 
Gilmore gets second and inches again and out of bounds. We can feed this with a really good pass. Beautiful, all yellow. McKeithen over the middle, takes six yards, clock's ticking, just how we want it. Second and four, three-man rush. Oh, but there's a QB spy and he's damn fast, but Gilmore still bends the corner. It's a glitch. 32 seconds, Bama has two timeouts. We're handing this ball off. It's going nowhere. I'm not calling a timeout. Come on, boys. We're so close, gentlemen. Let's punch this in. Double team on the right side. Oh, he's so open. What? Cut! 21 to 17. 15 seconds to stop Bama. Please, gentlemen. Motion man over. Please play deep. Please play over the top. You know what you gotta do. No. Oh my God, he caught that. They can't kick a field goal. They need a touchdown. They got 11 seconds and one timeout left. Boys, you let up 50 yards in 11 seconds. I'm gonna cry. What a bad pass. That wouldn't have worked anyway, even if he caught it. Kinda wish he did. Nine seconds left, second and 10. Come on, gentlemen. I've given you everything I can. Over the middle, intercepted. Get down. Vanderbilt is gonna take one more home. Oh my goodness, victory formation. Bama's getting sent home and we're headed to the natty. Come on, baby. We're so close, gentlemen. We are so close, 21 to 17. What a game. That took everything out of us. Oh my God, all the scoring in the fourth quarter. 14 points out of Andy, seven out of Bama. Ball game. The final game, it, honestly, if it's not Ole Miss, this will be so much easier. Oh, of course it's Ole Miss. This is the gauntlet. Georgia, Bama, Ole Miss? Sure, why not? Ole Miss has lost one game all season. We were built for these moments, gentlemen. Ole Miss at an 85 overall is the easiest team we've seen in the entire playoffs. They're hot right now. They got a 92 overall junior wide receiver. They got a fast quarterback. Everything, gentlemen. Everything we've done leads up to this game right here. Let's make it our best one. Gonna rock the gold pants because we're going for gold. Come on, boys. The college football playoffs national championship. Ole Miss is bringing out their best uniforms for the biggest game. And Vanderbilt, the Commodores, taking down Georgia, then Penn State, then Alabama to find themselves finally here. Spearheaded by junior quarterback James Gilmore, who's put up a miraculous season. Star wide receiver Javier Hayden as well. And star edge rusher Moses Priester, number 93, are looking for one final win to finish off the Cinderella story. It's Vanderbilt taking on Ole Miss miss in the national championship everything we got boys everything we got yeah those old miss uniforms are beautiful it's third and eight though we could come up with a huge stop and they're going for a draw bottled up they're in a 3-3 defense hayden's got single coverage it's like the greatest thing we can see more blitzing linebackers i gotta go hayden oh my god i think he has him javier broken tackle they got a five foot eight corner on javier hayden put some respect on him 7-0 i'm back in on third and 11 gotta be a pass priester if there was ever a time to get home buddy it's right now slip screen what a play call <gasps> but we make an amazing tackle they gotta settle for a field goal they might have pooch punted it or missed the field goal because Ole miss has still got a goose egg on the board we're back up on offense and that's not where i meant to throw I thought Odongo was A. That was supposed to go to the drag. I hit the wrong button. It's now seven to seven. That's a huge mistake. And Ole Miss is in the red zone. Uh-oh, yeah, we still got a game, boys. We still got a game. There's a handoff to the halfback. I put so many bodies on that. There's no way. He ran 10 yards laterally for a gain of zero. Got the pass into one. He makes such a good cut. The CPU predicted my hit stick. We're down. 14 to seven. Ooh, clearing slant from Hayden. First and 10. I do like that they're in a three down lineman set a lot. This is the first four down lineman set we've seen. Lens is just gonna take an easy four. Second and six, lots of blitzers. Let's see if we can get around the side of this. That's an absolutely diabolical, insane pass that could, I don't think that's possible in real life. I don't know how they let you throw that. That's so insane. Maybe it is. Dude, I'm no, I'm no QB. I was a kicker. First and 10. Play action, step up, ooh, down we go, second and 13. Okay, I mean, you're gonna let me scramble. That's what's crazy. They're gonna let Gilmore scramble with these three down linemen. It's gonna be so easy to do this every time. That's a risky ball. Hayden can't hang on. Third and 13, double team on this side. Gilmore, you gotta get all of it, buddy. Big spin, no fumbles. Let's go. First and 10, let's bring him over. Ooh, McKeithen with a little bit of yak yards. He'll take three, but I like how this clock is moving. Don't let Ole Miss score before half. Blitz is there, he takes an inside pass rush. 
Gilmore's going to cakewalk this into the end zone. That was a little risky. <laughs> In the national championship, you're going to do that. Oh my God, Ole Miss gets all the way down to the 11. But the clock's ticking. And they're going for it. Oh my God. It's either a touchdown or it's nothing. Wait a minute. Wayne. Wayne. He breaks that tackle. We get six out of that. 14 to 14. We're in on defense. Oh my goodness, of course. We gotta love this, boys. The Natty's a good game. Petway had that huge interception against Georgia. And almost another. Uh, another slip screen. They, oh! Oh my god! Big man rumble! A big man interception on a slip screen? Oh my god. I don't even, I don't even know what to say. That's a sketchy ball. It's broken up, and I think we're gonna turn this over. It's a big third down. Time to make a stop. Third and seven. Oh, it's a draw? No. No! No! That was unbelievable. That was so pitiful. I cannot believe that just happened. Vanderbilt scored without my input, and it's 21 to 21. We're on defense. Another draw? Just a true handoff. What a tackle. I dove into that lineman and it gave me that. Second and 10, I'm guessing pass here. And it is a pass. He whips one over the middle. Third and six. Third and six. Big pass. Does he take the check down? No, he throws haywire. We can't intercept it, but they got a punt anyway. Honestly, that might've been better. I feel like we'll get better field position with this punt. All right, I'm dropping back with Keenan. So hopefully he'll throw a block for us. This looks really good. Maybe not really good, but we'll get something out of it. I gotta let the boys give it a run for their money. 21 to 21, all sim for the rest of this game. Beautiful pass, beautiful pass. Gilmore, you keep this up and we're gonna take this home, buddy. First and 10, we only need a field goal to win the game. Gilmore's waiting patiently, too patiently. Second and 17, oh, we need a huge conversion right now. Empty, five wide, second and 17. Gilmore's gonna step up. Slides like a big pussy, but that's seven yards. We cannot punt, gentlemen. You gotta take us home right now. We need the best routes we've ever seen. Third and 10, he's looking to the sideline. There's the snap. Gilmore, find somebody. Steps up in the pocket. Gilmore! First down and more! Scrambler quarterbacks are too damn good. It ain't over till it's over. 21 to 21, Gilmore throw caught. Who else? Javier Hayden. It's 21 to 21, we're in range. Vandy, put the finishing touches on this game. It's a deep field goal right now, so let's not say this game's put away. That was a read option, but a smart handoff. Gives us three, another Ole Miss timeout. They only have one timeout left, so if we're not going for the first down, we can milk this. I feel like this is a draw. It's just an inside zone. Good vision, McEthan. I think that's a first down. It is! Oh, we're so close, no turnovers. First and 10, McEthan is down, but that's gonna burn so much clock. It's not gonna burn any clock because we don't use the clock, but I guess it doesn't matter so long as we come out in a kick. Third and six, motion man over, it's a fake jet sweep. And McEthan is gonna get a first anyway. Bring the kicker out. Five, four, three, two, one. Drills in! Oh my God, wait, but there's still a second on the clock. The best coverage of your life. 24 to 21 for the national championship. Let's go! The Commodores are national champions. After nine years of rebuilding, the Commodores can finally see that confetti. Gold and white. Coach Adam Butters taking this puppy home. Unbelievable season out of the junior James Gilmore. Unbelievable three point win in the national championship. And who else but the player of the game, James Gilmore, every single time this guy steps up and makes the biggest play he can. Ole Miss put up one hell of a fight, but Javier Hayden and James Gilmore are finally getting that ring. And look at this for the first time, the national champions. And guess what? There's nobody in the shot. Now that's a shocker. 24 to 21, Vanderbilt is national champions. We finally beat the SEC gauntlet. We had to get through so many SEC teams just to win the natty, it's only right. National champions, the 
best team in the nation is the Vanderbilt Commodores. After a huge win like that, we've got to sim a full season to see if we could run it back. But before I go anywhere, I need to see the full season stats on Gilmore. He was so unbelievable in the playoffs. Ending with 4,242 and 10. Let's sim this next season, see if we broke any records. Still got to check the record book, and then we can put a pin on the Commodores rebuild. Following our national championship, we end the season nine and four, ranked 24th in the nation. Not a bad season. We lost to Alabama, LSU, Missouri, and 66 to seven against Texas. Whoops. We did win our bowl game though. Another bowl game win in the Trans Perfect Music City Bowl. And a roster check on our final season shows Elton Abraham, who visited for a big game, pushed him over the edge, is the best player we've ever had. A 92 overall guard. He's only a junior actually, so he's got another season. Maldonado, so two insane guards. Gilmore ends his senior season as an 85 overall. Overall. Priester as an 88, Hayden as an 88. Love you, Javier Hayden. We're a three and a half star program now as well, which is awesome. All right, let's check the record books. Any Vanderbilt records? James Gilmore, new career passing yards record over 15,000. James Gilmore also has passing touchdowns. Gallo had touchdown catches. Isaac Duvall with sacks. And I think that's it for players that we actually impacted. Single season records, Gilmore has our passing yards. Gilmore has our passing touchdowns. Javier Hayden has touchdown catches. And that's it. Any single game records for Vanderbilt? James Gilmore, historic Vanderbilt QB. All right, gentlemen, we can finally put a ribbon on this rebuild. Chad Butters, thank you for everything you've done for the program. And remember, anchor down. Hope you you boys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.